uh, thank you for inviting me to, uh, to take part in this um, event, uh, especially in Ren and also in a monastery and in a, bed, in, in a monk's bedroom. That's, uh, <laughs> well, uh, most of my thinking, uh, being a religious person, pretending, I spend in monasteries thinking about in Mount Athos, in various other places. So I was quite surprised and, uh, to, to see that uh, this event is taking place here. Anyway, as um, I mentioned, yeah, as I was a professor, retired. Um, now I, I, uh, I'm an expert in the discussions of the European Council for the European Health Data Space. So, uh, I can tell you a few things about uh, if you like uh, later. And um, second, I am leading the uh, Cyprus uh, National e Health Authority. It's under Article 10 of the European Health Data Space. It says that every country should have such an organization which is independent. It, uh, it's at the ministerial level, but it's not a political, but it's governed by law. And there is a reason uh, why this is the case, and it's very important. So I am leading this, and, and because of that, I suppose, a member of the Health Network, I was uh, challenged to take the coordination of this uh, joint action, joint action nine, as I, as I call it, because the extended EHR at the EU data space for primary use is quite uh, long. And what uh, uh, the purpose of this? is to build the European, is to help building the European uh, ecosystem, the health ecosystem. Therefore, the, uh, I, I tell you the purpose, the objectives of the deliverables and the time frame for this, which is a 30 months uh, uh, project. Uh, first of all, uh, standardization. Uh, I have to collect technical specifications, implementation guides, and conformity assessment framework. And this is done through the splitting of the work in nine uh, nicely thought work packages and how it was uh, designed. And, and, and second, we're going to think about the uh, security framework, technical specifications, and use cases, and actually use the uh, um, KPIs of uh, previous uh, uh, projects uh, for um, studying the uh, patient summary, e-prescription, imaging, laboratory, discharge report, and also go beyond that and study the telemedicine issues, which we consider quite important uh, if we are talking about a, a health data uh, space. Um, the, then the definition and the integration provides of, of an uh, interoperable electronic health record. Uh, I mean, we all uh, agree that there's no need to talk about interoperability if what you transfer is not understood at the other end. So I give great importance in understanding and agreeing on what you transfer not so much on the, 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 the size, but what you get, you must be able to, to use it, not just uh, file it. So interoperability in the integration of the provider is quite important in this uh, project. And as I said, what I mean by that, uh, uh, the EHR uh, extended format to be useful and meaningful and understandable, what do we mean? is to study the, separately the, the blocks. Healthcare workflows in primary use, the legal compliance, data exchange standard, certification and labeling, um, seamless data exchange, data privacy security, communication protocols, documentation, even training, that's quite important. I mean, all these must uh, uh, become one uh, objective and see them as in a uh, as the core 
of our and the definition of the integration of the profiles of the European of the electronic health uh, records, expressing in there the vital signs and the data coming from the patient being a patient-centric approach. Uh, that, that's another quite important consideration I put that right at the beginning to have it a patient-centric and. To my understanding, when you do this and uh, uh, will contribute towards the European Health Union, which is the dream of the politicians, the dream of the commissioners, the dream of uh, Europe to, to, to reach this stage. So these are the prerequisites. And I hope that the joint action, this joint action will bring uh, people together and contribute towards that. And I have of course, specific uh, uh, targets, the adoption of the uh, EHRF in all EU EHR systems, promotion of EHR cross-border healthcare use case beyond my health at EU, because we say it's important to mention this, beyond my health at EU. Uh, having said that, Cyber just became um, pass the test and uh, it's going live 2nd of October. So you, are, you must update your <laughs> map. <laughs> um, promote the HR systems awareness apps certification and labeling, uh, proof of sustainability of selected use cases, technical specification implementation guides to allow the adoption of the European Health Data Space Regulation across the member states, projects uh, and, and, and initiatives in the domain in digital healthcare interoperability in EU. So I have to capitalize on this, otherwise we'll be wasting uh, taxpayers' money. All existing management and governance assets of digital health and interoperability in Europe, all this were summarized in nine well thought work packages. We began with four, given uh, by us, uh, the Health World Meeting. We made them 20, and as a consortium, we worked very hard, and I would like to thank some of the people uh, that are here uh, who uh, participated in actively in this, and we brought them down into nine work packages and 20 deliverables. <laughs> Again, the deliverables were um, uh, nicely thought. There are nice titles in every deliverable. I don't have time to read all the titles, but we made sure that whatever we deliver must be a, a, a piece in a jigsaw puzzle we are trying to, uh, to, to build and uh, and have there uh, the European Health Union, I mean, contribute towards that as far as primary use is concerned. And the timeline for this is, uh, th is 30 months. I wanted it to be 24 months. Some people wanted it to be 48 months, but we compromised to 30 months because we must run fast Otherwise, technology is catching up, people are changing their minds, uh, and, and this is what we have experienced right now in the uh, discussion of the European Health Data Space Regulation. A, a new president is, is comes in, they bring revisions, and revision. We reached two consensus so far, and we are, uh, we are aiming to deliver this before the um, next elections, and I'm not sure whether this is going to be possible because things are, are, are changing. I mean, as you change and you change, things don't move fast. Um, so the, our project is going to build, it's going to use very healthy routes by some of these projects, and before these pre-routes, our EPSOS, etc., a uh, long time ago, but we're aiming to uh, build and, and uh, with this project uh, uh, to grow a tree, a tree which 
bring cooperation among member states, preparation of the foundation of the improved primary use, new regulation of the European health data space, is, that's what we're looking for, empower individuals to control their health data, and strengthen health systems practically and just theoretically, hoping that uh, this will be the, the heart of Europe and have a Europe fit for the digital age. I'm finishing, and here we have uh, almost all member states participating everywhere, all the citizens in involved actively agreeing. Uh, 26 European countries and 53 organizations working together um, to deliver the extended EHR um, data space for uh, primary use. And I thank you very much for your attention.